Hey, what's up YouTube? Guy Kicks here with another review. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the New Balance 992 in concept collaboration in that low hanging fruit colorway. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's talk sneakers. Let me show you how these look. So some information about these 992s, the official date is November 20th, 2021. I was able to get these early. I actually bought them on November 15th. I was able to get a VIP email from Concept, went in, was able to purchase. So I highly suggest that you guys sign up to Concept so that you can be part of that VIP list as well. These are gonna retail for $240 plus shipping and taxes depending on where you live. So the inspiration behind this collaboration comes from Frida Rappaport Kaplan, who is a female entrepreneur who literally changed the American fruit industry back in the 80s. You know, she introduced a lot of exotic fruits into the fruit industry. They were really not common within the American diet. And one of those fruits is the kiwi, and that's why she is known as the kiwi queen. She is also known for the way she was packaging the fruits, even the whole concept of labeling fruits came from her idea. The colorway on these 992s basically resembles a kiwi. You have that brown or tan color on most of the upper of the shoe, and then you have that neon green or kiwi green on the end logos, eyelids, midsole, some on the tongue there as well, and also on the outsole as well. One very cool detail about this collaboration is that the insoles have an image of strawberries and you have the concept logo on the heel part in that neon green color. According to the concept website, the strawberry kiwi flavor has a similar birthday as concept, which is in 1996. So that's probably in honor of that connection with that flavor. The upper on these 992 is primarily suede where other 992s, you'll find a combination of suede and mesh. You obviously find that hairy suede primarily on the upper layer of the suede, which is to resemble the outer layer of a kiwi. And then underneath that, you have a shorter length suede, especially around the toe box area, which it does look like it's more nubuck than regular suede. You will also find a lot of perforation on the suede around the toe box the side panels and around the heel collar of the shoe, especially because there's no mesh and you wanna give the shoe some ventilation and breathability. The neon colors are gonna be found on both end logos, which are also 3M, and there's also a strip of 3M around the toe box. You'll also find some neon green on the tongue where you find the constant name abbreviated. Obviously here in this chunky midsole of these 992, most of the midsole is in that neon green as well. These 992s come stock in these brown laces, but they also give you an additional pair in that neon green color. In terms of the cushioning system on these 992s, you're gonna find Absorb SBS. You can see that exposed gel-like material on the lateral side and also around the heel part of the shoe. The midsole is primarily constructed in an EVA foam, and then you have this clear heel stabilizer on the back of the shoe as well. On the outsole is primarily in that black color. You have endurance here as well. You have some hits of that neon green color. You have that translucent gel-like material where you can see the 992 brand and then New Balance there on the side as well. One of the best things about Concept and New Balance and their relationship is that, you know, it seems like New Balance really lets Concept do their own thing, introduce their own story and things like that. And Concept really takes pride and their packaging and they really focus on that and it's sometimes you know a detail that some brands may not really focus on but when you you know purchase a shoe especially if it's a collaboration and the first thing you see is a really cool box and it has something to say that whole experience is just so much better and here concept delivered in this really awesome box it's got the shape of like a wooden crate like a fruit wooden crate very cool the colors are so clean like if they would have, I think if they would have made the 992s with these colors, with this really dark brown and the red and, and the lighter, you know, neon green, I think that would have been so much better. But here with this box, super cool detail and they nailed it once again. And once you open the box, the shoes are going to be in a regular Made in USA box. And here you have the official tag in SKU. So when it comes to sizing, I'm normally a size 10 when it comes to like my, you know, Nikes, Jordans, Adidas non made in usa new balances but when it comes to made in usa new balances i primarily go a half size down so with the 992s 
I recommend you go a half size down. When it comes to comfort, the 992 is probably, you know, top three or something when it comes to comfort. Really like how the 992 feels. This chunky midsole does play a role in the comfort of these shoes. You know, I've taken some of my 992s into the city, walk with them all day, and I have really no complaints about them. They're really great and they're really worth having a pair of 992s. So my final verdict on these New Balance and Concept collaboration is that from the unboxing to the presentation, to the materials, the storytelling, the details, the construction, spot on concept and New Balance, you guys killed it here. Really good job for sure. However, I've had conversations with some folks on Instagram just to kind of get a feel of what people are thinking about these. And it seems like a lot of people agree with me that the neon green is just a little bit too bright and kind of turned them off a little bit. But I've also seen a lot of people who really love them really think they're fire and and that's awesome right we all have opinions and things like that and i'm on that boat in terms of the neon green just being too loud and it does turn me off a little bit i wish it just had less neon green i wish that most of the midsole was in the sail white color that you find around the four foot part of the shoe and then just have like subtle hits of the neon green throughout but not like this you know most of the midsole and then you got the end logos and things like that so that's definitely turning me off from these but the upper on this the brown is just really good the materials are great and you know concept you know once again they just really do a good job with their collaboration if you're someone who really wants these obviously go for them on november 20th if you end up taking an L there, you know, I'm not sure how limited these are going to be. I'm not sure if most of the load was already, you know, sold to those VIP listers. But if you do take an L on these on Saturday, you know, right now the resale market is not too high. I think for like a nine and a half, it's probably like around 290 or something like that, 295. Probably will dip a little bit more after Saturday because most people will already have their pairs and more people will get pairs. It's always hard to predict the resale market, but probably maybe consider going after them right away, especially if they're below 300. You know, because this is a 992 and it's a concept collab, it will go up in price over time. I don't think it'll be like a, you know, $400 shoe or anything like that, but it might go up to like a 320 range or 330 range. So I don't know, maybe consider going after them early uh, because obviously you don't want to pay too much if you wait too long. So with all that being said, let me lace these up, let me put them on and show you how they look on feet. So that's it for me. Hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the New Balance 992 and concept collaboration in the low hanging fruit colorway. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about these. Are you feeling them? Do you think they're okay? Do you think they're all right? Also let me know in the comments below if the box is only exclusive through the concept website, but if you buy them through a different retailer, you might just get a regular made in USA box. I'm just curious. Let me know in the comments below. And like always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers. If you're feeling the channel, definitely hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. Follow me on Instagram at Guy and Kicks. And that's it, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.